also extremely powerful. Oftentimes, you, you don't really need to care about what your opponent's doing, and you can just kind of kill your opponents uh, very, very quickly, kind of puts the pressure on them. Uh, Autumn, with um, an interesting choice here, not a ton of people on the five-color Nibizit deck. This is a deck that broke out at the last championship event, and uh, having some success, Matt Nass, Mike Sigrist, among some others who chose to play the deck. And, um, you know, it, it, at the end of the day, what you're trying to do is just resolve a Niv-Mizzet and just get a ton of value off of that. You have a lot of really great removal spells, and it did get a really strong addition. You know, I think one of the cards kind of of this tournament will be Expressive Iteration. And now mm. you have a card that's multicolored, one of the best card draw spells that we've printed in a very long time. Mm -hmm. And and now you have access to that to kind of help you dig, hit your land drops, and also find that Niv Mizzet. Interesting threat heavy draw here from Salvato, who finds himself down a game. We're in game number two, Autumn Burchett having picked up game number one. Autumn with the timely lightning helix to take out the first Sprite Dragon, but the second one stuck, and uh, there's another one to follow as well. Yeah, and Autumn really needs some lands here, it looks like. See a lot of really great spells here. Oh yeah and needs a black source ideally and finds it. This is huge. Now she can IOK -okay something away here, either Sahili or the other Sprite Dragon. Boy, but ooh. if you take Sahili and it's Sprite Dragon, then Faithless Looting like this, ooh, and the oh, Brainstorm. Geez. These are gonna be huge Sprite Dragons. And what's awkward is Autumn's removal spell that you see in hand is a Vanishing Verse, yeah. which is really great against monocolored permanents, but not so much against either Sahili or the Sprite Dragon here. Right, the good news is, is that it exiles, so if there's like an Arc Light Phoenix, you can just take care of it permanently, but it's not gonna do anything here. And look at this, we are gonna see tons wow. of action now. A Brainstorm as well, after uh, putting a couple of cards on top with another Brainstorm, and it's gonna be what, six damage coming in this here? This is a Jeez. lot of pressure. I mean, oh. oh, God. Now, that Phoenix isn't going to be in play, but basically, Autumn's going to get a turn here, I think. Yeah. we're Because it's going to be at least 10 more damage the next turn, if not more. Yeah, we're going to see Autumn go down to, what, 13 here. With the two ops, you're just so likely to, to be able to find another spell here, so... Yeah, now, and th this also is going to shut off things like that Overgrown Tomb from coming in untapped for Autumn, if that's something that she needs to happen. Here's Inquisition to, to stem the, the bleeding a bit and take away an Opt. What's There's the also a Cling to Dust to gain three. I, I'm wondering what that Demir card is on the left side of Autumn Burchett's hand. I can't see what it is either. If it's a removal spell, then she's not looking that bad, right? It's Drown um, in the Lock. It's a Drown in the Lock, so okay. Uh, actually, things things aren't too bad here then because you can go Drown in the Lock on the Sprite Dragon and that will buy you some time here. Not a lot of room for error here for Burchett. Up a game though. Can take out a Sprite Dragon and then has a decision on Overgrown Tomb tapped or untapped. You could net a life on it if you exiled a creature with Cling to Dust, but you know, if you wait a turn, you can get the full three life and not take the two off of the uh, tomb here. Yeah, I, I, I would be inclined to put it into play tapped, but... All right, it's going to be untapped here. I mean, perhaps Autumn wants to also just... Uh, perhaps Autumn wants to just draw a card, mm -hmm. possibly. Mm -hmm. It might not but, be the life thing, that's true. Yeah. Okay, there's Crackling Drake on top of the library. Now, if you're not going to get to double opt with, or yeah, opt into whatever with two Sprite Dragons, maybe you'd rather just play the Crackling Drake? Maybe not. Looks like it's going to be opt. Yep, this is going to be an opt. We're going to see a Sprite Dragon and a Crackling Drake. Yeah. And so Autumn's going to need to find an answer for this Drake. This is a lethal Drake. Um, I mean, combined with the Sprite Dragon that's in play, that... that will be lethal. Now we can use the cling to dust to gain three life, um, which would, I guess, buy you a turn if yeah. Luis has a land on top, right? Mm -hmm. This vanishing verse That's right. looking uh, pretty mediocre here. Yeah, it's gonna be card draw. I think that Autumn recognizes she needs to find answers for these okay. cards. It was a land on top there, okay. and there is an answer, so that'll take care of Crackling Drake here. So, so now, I mean, 
<laughs> There's still spell. outs, though. <laughs> right, a burn spell. Oh, on it's Arclay a land. Okay. That means that Autumn's still alive. On three life, gets the uh, ramp effect here. But where are we going? I guess there's a expressive iteration. <laughs> oh, Niv Mizzet reborn. Okay. Where are we going? I'm, I, you know, I'm just, you know, this is uh, putting on my uh, my my expert hat here. I would venture a guess and say that Andre's probably going to run that one out. You want to cast that one? All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I like yeah, your line, okay. Paul. <laughs> wow. Keep in mind, though, an arc like I Phoenix have. off the top. We still right. get it done. That's true. And let's see if anything good goes into hand here. A Teferi and a oh. Banishing Person. It's another land for Salvato. Oh, no. And that means no damage here from Burchett. <laughs> oh, she must be just sweating this one because there's Jeez. two turns in a row where, uh, where she could have died from a top deck of multiple outs from Salvato, but <laughs> it didn't happen. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so I think this, this, perhaps the safest line here is maybe go Inquisition. Although if Luis had anything whatsoever, he probably would have just played it, mm -hmm. right? That's true. Uh, so, so, but, but I think Autumn's going with the safe line here of Inquisition into Teferi minus the Sprite Dragon here because again, Autumn can still lose to an Arclight Phoenix off the top. If you, show remorse. you could potentially plus and then untap two lands and know that Vanishing Burst is your answer to Arclight Phoenix. However, if Luis Salvato draws a Brazen Borrower off the top, then that would be lethal. Oh, right. And also we have to consider uh, the fact that he could also just chain a couple of card draw spells and make that dra that uh, the sprite bigger than Niv Miz and enforce a chump block, which would which would also be pretty bad right. for Autumn. So it looks like Sprite Dragon to the bottom off of the st uh, Stormwing Entity that just came off the top here for Salvato. It's a lethal threat. He knows he just needs to get that stupid Niv Miz out of the way. Oh, and that's safety right there. Corner has been turned. We have... The Drown in the Lock to counter anything dangerous that Luis might play. Wow. We have a Vanishing Verse for the Storming Entity. Potentially. Okay, it looks like it's going to be Hydrate Crisis here. Now, is there any way that Salvato can get through a 6-6 six, six and a 5-5 five, five Flyer in the turn? I don't think Not so. With I the think mountain. that's the game. Wow, incredible. Autumn Burchett on the verge of death, but that's probably what happens a lot with this deck because of the mana. Right. And here we see Vanishing Verse finally finding a target. The entity's gone, and now we're going to see a quick two-turn clock with a hard counter in hand and 11 power in the air. I think we're just done. <laughs> Look at this hand. Oh, my, that is incredible. My eyes are going blind. There's too many gold cards. <laughs> Look at this. And remember, Autumn was up a game here, so this is actually going to be the match going to Autumn Burchett here in round number one as Salvato drawing a few lands at just the worst time possible. Had some outs to top decks to win the game. A couple of turns in a row, but couldn't find them. So Autumn going for the oops here because she played a land and then is planning on playing an expressive iteration, so won't be able to... will be unlikely to get extra value if you wanted to hit a land, but... Don't think it matters based on what she has in hand, right? I mean, right. you have I, multiple counter spells. Like, it, it doesn't really matter. That's right. I, I appreciate it. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you know, she recognized, hey, I lost a little value here. Right. <laughs> but, uh, but at the end of the day, <laughs> the hard counter, the hard removal spells in hand really make it so that Salvato is not going to have uh, outs here. Can't get through for five. Hey, that's got to be the best card in his deck. But Autumn can just uh, just snap it off here. Yeah, expressive yeah. iterations on the list too of of cards that you want to see in this situation but it's just not enough yeah i mean autumn doesn't really have to worry about a whole lot autumn also has the ability to escape cling to dust if uh perhaps an arc like phoenix goes into the graveyard has multiple copies of vanishing verse you know and it looks like this mystical dispute is just there to kind of just tap salvato out mm -hmm. ensures that salvato can't flash back faithless looting here and that's going to do it. Triple threat off the top of the library, but none of them are going to be able to hit the battlefield this turn. And that's going to be good game. Autumn Burchett picks up the match two games to zero and does it in her normal, exciting fashion there. Always every <laughs> to make time, it interesting. Every time we watch Autumn play, it's always just... I mean, I, I feel like most of our like really, really great matches just come from watching Autumn uh, you know, snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. So That's right. uh, here, just saw him doing it again.